Hello, my name is Kevin and welcome to the Love Decanters channel. So today I'm going to review this book, The Decanter, Ancient and Modern by Andy McConnell. And um, yeah, I chose to do this. I thought this is a very timely moment. I did the other Andy McConnell book, or, or it's the three in total, but I did um, Middle 20th Century Glass. And I thought I'd do this one because this one is still in print. Andy's actually selling them himself. And um, yeah, uh, and there is a reason. One, Christmas is coming. <laughs> so you can help Andy out by helping him get rid of the, some of his copies because he's, I think he's self funded this. And the other thing is, is that when these books are gone, I predict things will happen to the price. So, um, yeah, this is, first of all, I have to declare um, what's that? an interest of sorts in that, um, as you can see behind me, a lot of what you're seeing here is decanters. I collect decanters. So for me, this is a fantastic book. It, it's a fantastic book anyway, if you collect glass, but especially for me. So if I'm overly enthusiastic about it, yeah, well, that's what it is. Um, this is a fantastic book. I knew it was coming. I put my pre-order in. I think I put my pre-order in like about 18 months before it was actually published. Um, so yeah, and um, I actually have two copies. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is my nice copy. And, uh, and this is the one that I use a lot. <laughs> Anyway, so um, with that said, what I'll do first is um, I'll just let you have a look through the book and show you what kind of book it is. It is a fantastic book. It goes right into the 20th century um, and, it and it's, it's so well illustrated. And also the background that he adds to this, um, he puts a lot of context to things that have happened in the industry, in design, all sorts of stuff. So it's a fantastic book from that point of view. So um, with that said, I will um, get on and show you some of the pages of the book so you get an idea of what's in it. So for the crusty old git glass collectors like me, okay, so I'm, I'm starting near the beginning and we're looking at 18th century gilding and he's got like two pages of glass um, or decanters um, gilded by uh, James Giles, who is a preeminent 18th century gilder in the UK. And, um, and I'll show you how you can use this. So all of Andy Giles's, uh, James Giles' uh, stuff was unique. And um, so that's why all these designs look. And I have a, a crew that I got off eBay, and I knew it was James Giles. And I'll show you how. Because James Giles used to mix and match. So... The middle of the cruet has a sprig like this. It has a top like this, this, and a foot like this. Yeah, so James Charles, and it would have bits of sprigs that are shown on some of these other ones, little sprigs like this on the other side. Um, and, and from that, I can look at it and go, yeah, by combining where he does mix and match elements, um, to create something unique, but it is mix and matching elements quite often. But anyway, that's how you can use this book. It's got so many illustrations in it um, that that you can... And, and this is like, you know, I paid £100 for something that's worth a couple of grand just through with this page, help you know, these two pages here helping me. So, yeah, this is where you can make your money back on, on buying books. Um, I'll move on a bit and show you some other pages. Still with the crusty old git glass here. And um, yeah, so this is the Anglo-Irish period. And um, yeah, he's got a few illustrations on here. But this one here, this is interesting to me. I Back behind me, I have a um, decanter with this on. Um, I recognised who it was by. This is the only place I've seen this motif etched on decanter um so yeah and he has the waffle stopper as well mine only has two rings but yeah i, I kind of 
knew what it was and um and i got confirmation from a museum about what it was but yeah that was another cheap buy off ebay saw it immediately knew what it was because it was in this book um but anyway i'll just let's just randomly jig over a few pages and show you so this is what you what you see a lot of pages like this with just a whole pile of illustrations um you know and i've got decanters like this i've got this these so these are ones that you can actually find when you're out and about and that's the thing is a lot of it is so yeah there's some really once in a lifetime finds and then there's stuff that you know i've got about 10 of those so um yeah they're not common but they're not massively rare um and things like so this is american glass now i think so in the molded one so yeah so these ones here look these are ones that you'll find in any antique center and they'll quite quite often appear in charity shops etc because these were common in the day and they don't look even today they don't look expensive um, because they weren't then but um but yeah, he's illustrated them. He's got some catalog pages on here. So there's lots of bits of catalog illustrations like this bit about stoppers. Um, so I'll skip forward uh, to modern days with this. I know I'm saying modern days, but yeah, it's the 20th century. That's modern days in my book. Anyway, um, so yeah, so here's a page on um, Bohemian Glass. Then you've got more. Do you know what I mean? It's so well illustrated, this book. Um, and more and then you've got um some web corbett here some stuart crystal a bit more stuart crystal you can see what i mean about it how even just like his other books some of the stuff that is the, the really not you know inexpensive cheap stuff that you can just see but he's actually telling you what it is um you know he's like these ricard bottles he's giving you dates for them and everything so yeah, he's not just showing you the really fancy stuff. He's showing you the stuff that you can find. Um, so, yeah, some of this is fancy. Um, and then there's some of it that you can find, um, like some of the Stromberg's height and stuff here. I only have one other place, really obscure place, where any of this is illustrated. Um, so, yeah, it, it's it's got things where you won't find them anywhere else. There's so much of the stuff in here that is unique. Um, and things like some of the, like these etchings that you see like this on these things, they will have done these same etchings on vases. So it, what you see in decanters is often translated across to um, other products and styles and everything that you see. So, yeah, decanters is one thing, but the patterns and the shapes and uh, etchings and cuttings and everything translate straight onto glasses, vases, bowls, etc., etc. So, yeah, it is a book about decanters, but it's, it is a book about glass that applies across the field. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I think I've shown you enough now. So here's the book on eBay. It is... Sixty-five pounds. You get some money off if you buy more, um, and it is. I think it's about nine pounds pounds to post it or something. Nine pounds fifty. So yeah, it's not. Yeah, postage is nine pounds fifty. So you're paying seventy-four pounds fifty for this book, which may seem a lot, but let me. Um, I can show you something. Um, that illustrates what I was saying. So this is Andy McConnell's second decanter book. The other one's not quite as big and it doesn't illustrate so much modern glass. So if I just click on this one, I think, yep, this one, here it is. So this is it on Amazon. It, obviously it's out of print because uh, the date here is 1999. Yep. Now new, it was 45 pounds. And now it's 120 pounds. Um, oh, and there's one you can, there's five uh, 
So 120 pounds and there's one that's 160 pounds. And also I've been onto Aid Books. If you look on Aid Books as well. Um, this is the old book. Cheapest one there is 90 pounds without a picture of it. Then 110, 130, 170, uh, 192, 213, 250. Oh, and someone's trying to sell the current book for 256. But that's in the US. So someone's actually um, imported one to the US and they, they want 256 pounds for it. Um, so yeah, so I'm giving you, oh, oh there's someone's point, no, there's 318. That's just crazy. Anyway, um, you get the idea about if once it's out of print, it won't get cheaper. You know, it's 75 pounds now. I think you can probably try and ask Andy. I don't know if there's anything off because he's paying fees for uh, eBay. Um, but anyway, he might just want to do it all for eBay. But yeah, you get the idea. It's the same with um, the book that I, I use a lot, the L.M. Bickerton Modern 18th Century English Drinking Glasses. The price of that is bears no no reality to the original price now. It's way more expensive. And this is what happens when you have a book that becomes, um, what can I describe it as, the benchmark for, for a subject. Once it goes out of print, the price doesn't stay where it is. Also, the other thing I'd like to point out is how much book you're getting. So this is, if you remember this, I did this book recently. Um, which is now, it was £30 new um, and is now, is about £30, but I think it's going up. Maybe, maybe that's my fault, but anyway. Um, yeah, so this is, this is this book, yeah. Look at that. You see how much book you're getting for your money? Um, you are getting £75 worth of book. It's a, it's a bigger book in every dimension. And it's masses more. And it's the same author. And he spent 20 years collating this book. So a lot of work, lot, masses of illustrations. It doesn't say how many illustrations there are, but thousands. Um, so, yeah, it's what you want as a, you know, it's what I've tried to do with my website. It's just pe people that collect stuff, they want to know, what is this? Can I see a picture of it and, and know what it is? And, and this book is... What that is good for, and I've it's paid for, for my from my point of view. It's paid for itself so many times because by studying this book, I've spotted so many bargains. Um, so yeah, so from from my point of view, it's paid for itself. So yeah, if you're looking for a Christmas present for yourself, put that down. Um, I recommend this book. So I don't need to put the title because the whole name of the the um, film is about that um, and what else no I can't think of anything else so yeah so good evening I hope you enjoyed this little video um, go out and buy this book get it get it for yourself for Christmas if you're a serious glass collector you need that book just like you need the Alan Bickerton one if you're out there sort of like pounding the streets and looking for good bits of glass you you need some of the base um, references to help you out um, and yeah because context is value that's what I can say so um, you know if you don't know what something is you know I've bought oh, I've got here, I had some of it's still on my desk still you know oh, I've bought little ale glasses like this for three quid because it's a little glass and it's just a little bit ripply and blah 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 they don't know it's 200 years old uh, and uh, yeah, so as I said, that context is value to to all collectors or um, to dealers. So yeah, with that said, I think I'm going to pack up. So please remember to like and subscribe and um, good night and have a good evening. Thank you. Bye.